Hello and welcome to Two Indoor Gaming. I'm just uh, I realised that the Janky House may actually be available to new players. I just assumed when it switched to um, free to play, and they they sent a note about you got this and that and that. That was new in my inventory. I assumed it was one of the bonuses, but it may be just a standard thing. Um, but anyway, this is good a time as any to show how to fill in blueprints. So I'll actually place it down and you've got the stone there and if you click on that you've got a few options show negative space you can take that off if you want hints pass through you can track the materials obviously we're getting good at tracking things that's always a good idea this gives you an idea of uh, what's in here and what you want to do uh, and you can change that you don't have to put up with that you can put your own thing in and if you click activate it will um, actually start you can show you where to place your first blocks so let's have a look we have a look over here we've got a couple of things already the touchstone moss torches uh, we need a processor wood door we've already got that over in our little house so let's just collect a few things don't actually want a wood door to tell you the truth so why don't I show you how to change something let's say I want instead a stone door so I craft one of those, escape, come back, right click on the, uh, the block, change the palette is um, what you're trying to do. It just says you can drag items from the quick slots to customize this blueprint. So instead of a stone door, what I do, if I've got it in my inventory, is I drag it there, and I've got it. Now it's asking for a stone door, and that can be placed in the appropriate spot uh, come time. And you can do that with anything if you want to change it. If you don't like the leaves, you want a different kind of roof, you can put a different kind of roof in. So if I wanted to maybe make a shredded leaf roof or something like that. So whatever you want to create, you can change the roof to that particular block. Okay, makes sense. So we got wood floor here, wood wall, thatched roof. No, that's not very safe. Um, but you get the idea. Um, what I might do, do I have any stone at the moment? I do. Okay, the floor is like just logs, oh, I find it a bit annoying. This this actually forms a floor for this janky house, so I might actually change that to stone. It's for a stone floor, Just I think I just prefer the look. Right, okay, so now it's about collecting those items so that we can finish the design off. So it's looking for some cragwood logs. Here's a log up here. So when the first time I did a blueprint, I uh, bought this massive blueprint from the store and me and my son were putting it together in our in our combined world. And uh, <laughs> let's just say that um, we had a different impression of what it would be like. I had no idea and we thought, okay, we'll get all the materials together. And there were masses of materials, hundreds and hundreds of things that we needed for it. Actually, I don't need that. I swapped it. Uh, let's ignore that bit. Um, do need some more cragwood though. Um, so I was filling chests up with all this stuff and then when we got everything that we needed, I put it all in my inventory, dumped all of my regular stuff, and then went and pressed activate and I was expecting it to just sort of go you know doo -doo 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 -doo, and there'd be my house you know there was some magic automatic process but no uh, blueprints don't work that way all they do is they show you where to put the blocks you collect the blocks you pl still place the blocks um, it's just showing you here put them in this spot and you'll end up with something that looks like it's supposed to look um, so don't be expecting the magic to just uh, flow out. <laughs> it doesn't quite work that way. Okay, so we need a little bit of grass. Uh, steal some from here. Yeah, the thing when you do change your palette, obviously, it doesn't seem to have changed the track materials. Uh, I might just test that in a moment. Okay, 33, almost there. Okay, we've got enough grass. I wonder if I turn, take it off. 
and then put it back on again whether it will have changed to the right thing. No, it's obviously tracking material still gives you the basic options, not what you've changed in your palette. Might be something I'll send some feedback off on because that'd be a smart thing to change, I reckon. So we need a little bit more wood, uh, sorry, not wood, stone, because I've changed the floor to stone. May as well collect this now. Because we do need one of those. Down, collect a bit of stone. Now, one thing you might have noticed with the mining cells, see, it's only just showing some wear and tear now. As you go up in the mining cells, some of your earlier materials will no longer deplete it. So it's basically free uh, collection on those items. So when I was, as long as I was doing wood and grass, all of those things that I could use just with my hand, um, before I even had a wood mining cell, those are now free with a st this level of mining cell. And if I go up one more, then stone will suddenly become free. And so if you're the kind of person uh, like me who loves to do a bit of terraforming, or you know, moving masses amounts, leveling hills or raising valleys, that sort of thing, then you will find that uh, very helpful uh, <laughs> to do. Um, you save it till you've got a powerful glove and then you can just go crazy with it. And you won't have to worry about having to constantly switch your glove because you're moves, uh, moving masses of materials. Okay, so we needed 12 stone. We got plenty of that. Uh, we can easily put the touchstone down. So the thing we probably need most of is the leaves. Wood door, don't. Yeah, so we just need five more sets of cragwood leaves. Where's the nearest bunch of that? This looks good. So this is all it takes with your blueprints. It's a case of finding them, uh, choosing what you want, and then finding all the materials for it. And then, now that I've got everything I need, click on here, click activate, and now it's showing me where the blocks are. So here it's asking for wood. So we just put it in, and if you put the wrong thing in, so if I put try and put a log here, see it's got a red box instead of a green one, and if I put that in there, it's going to be red, it's telling me, mate, you wrecked it. And if there's a collision, like if there was things in the way already, it will also be showing uh, red. So it helps you, if you make a mistake, it'll, it'll rectify it for you. The good thing with the blueprints is you don't have to... Uh, spin anything around, re realign them because it'll automatically put it in the right alignment as the blueprint shows. So as you do them it'll show the next block, it'll also open up the blocks next to it so you can spot them as well. Let's just be careful I don't fill in everything above the floor. Okay, so I don't need that down there, I do need that don't need that, don't need the carpet. Yeah, maybe I should switch it for carpet instead of stone. It's probably make more sense, wouldn't it? Let's give that a go. I forgot I got that from the chest. Um, so we deactivate, it won't let me change the palette while it's activated. So instead of stone there, I'm going to switch that to carpet. And then activate it again. And there we go, we're going to have some nice carpet in there. And, oh, I need that earth. Oop, I hadn't. <laughs> By the way, if you, if that whole right click, left click thing I was telling you about, um, it's simply using the mouse wheel to scroll, means that I move what the right click is without selecting it. If you use the numbers, obviously, it's going to choose change it. So that's the mouse wheel. It switches you quickly between those selections. So here we go, filling in the earth. Okay, I'll start up here. Don't get pushed off the edge. Now, if there was open air under the blueprint, it'd just leave open air. So you could potentially be building a house uh, in midair, 
and it was uh, it'd be up to you if you wanted to fill it in underneath to make it look realistic or whether being realistic doesn't actually matter to you and then you just leave it as it is uh, okay, carpet oops yeah that's any problem it wants to let on to that this one under there Now, once you use the blueprint that you bought in the store, uh, at this point in time, it's world specific. So one use, one world, rather, it's only used in one world. You can use it as many times as you like within that world, but once you've uh, uh, apportioned it to a world, it's done. Okay. So remember, yeah, I think it was not the last episode, so it was the one on multiplayer, but before that I was saying how logs make good early stage windows, just like so. So nothing can crawl through it, it's, it's registered as blocked, but you still have visibility there. That's nice, nice feature. The janky house is very small. Uh, that's that's the factor. So you don't have a lot of room. There's not even really room for a bed, seriously, oh, or a chest or whatever. So that's it's a beginning sort of framework. I think it's more useful for showing you some of the possibilities. Um, you can construct it without a processor. Really, the processor finishes it off, but it's just using basic materials. Uh, if you're using it as it comes and not like me who's changed things around um, so now we need leaves down there put those in okay <laughs> yeah you've still got that problem with placing it it'll register for activating machines in the background or activating blocks Oop didn't mean for that to go there. And if there's open space in the blueprint, it won't actually register as you making a mistake in that instance uh, because it's not actually colliding with one of the official blocks. It'll just come up as... Okay, Oop, I see the problem. I put a wood instead of a log. Go there, now we just place some torches. One here, one here, one, one here, and one here. Okay, so that's the janky house complete, and if you look at the block, it'll give you that ah satisfaction. Nice glowing green complete. Now what you can do, definitely remember to take track materials off. You don't want that hanging on your house. Deactivate it. Right, you don't need that anymore and take your block back you don't need the block there anymore um, it's just taking up space and that's how you can use a blueprint in multiple places because now I've got the block back um, I can place it somewhere new and make another janky house and in fact when me and my son were playing with it initially we made a double janky house put another one here and then knocked the wall out of the middle um, and that was pretty cool like I said, it's not giving you much space here, but now that I've actually completed it and taken that block away, I can do whatever I want with it. So if I want to put my bed here, and that's a good idea, let's do that. I'll just show you. We can take it out of this. Give me my bed back. Thank you. Then we come in here. What I'll do is I'll move my touchstone to this corner. Sorry, I can't put it on my torch, otherwise I'd smack my head on it when I appeared. And then I get the bed. And place it there. There we are. See, nothing's going to bleep at me because I've taken the stone out. So it's not colliding with anything. This is now just a freestanding structure. I can do that as I will. Change the roof, change the walls, or demolish it. Doesn't matter. Um, it's free to play. So that's all you do with blueprints. Some of them are massive and have literally
literally tens of thousands of blocks. Um, I'll just show you that. Oh, I'll close the door so nobody comes in and gets me. That's better. <laughs> Made that mistake before. Uh, so you have a look in the blueprints. So some of these are massive. The floating island or let's say the wooden fort. You click on that. It's looking for 13,000 blocks. Uh, and it's saying it's, it's quite a big deal that. Quite a very big deal. Or this one here, 14,000. Uh, so you can purchase those and put them in. But like I said, world specific at this point. A lot of people are asking that they be account specific. And uh, we'll see if the devs listen to that viewpoint. Um, Alright, probably the next thing I want to do is, just to finish off the episode, is put in a chest. Craft that up. Put a chest in, and now I can start to unclutter some of my inventory, things I don't need to be carrying around everywhere. Just um, drop them in, like so. Okay, well, I'll see you in the next episode.